Representative Moore. Oh, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Doctor, please stay for a moment. Doctor. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you're not done yet, Doc. <laughs> Doctor, would you advocate uh, yeah. the legalization? Or would you advocate smoking just as a general health policy? Um, I think that there are there are better alternatives. I think that whole leaf marijuana is. Essential. No, I'm not talking about smoking marijuana. I'm talking about smoking in general. Another health issue that we discuss from time to time in this committee and in the General Assembly. About what I think about smoking? Mm -hmm. oh, it's bad for you. Except for this kind of smoking, I take it. So mer medical marijuana, or just as been pointed out, med marijuana in general is beneficial, but all other types of smoking are harmful. Is that what you're suggesting? Uh, not by design, but I think that's an, an accurate okay. statement to make. Have you, in all the studies that you cited, none of which are in my materials this morning, nor do I quite frankly uh, believe the validity of many of those studies, let alone what international doctors have to say. They don't testify here, nor do they hold court in Kentucky. But what about the studies that I have seen mm -hmm. that every person that is treated, I, I should take back that statement, that the overwhelming majority of people who are treated for addiction to drugs began with marijuana, recreationally, just as you very flippantly discussed using yourself. I mean, that becomes a gateway, and I've seen study after study, but you have no concerns that, that medical marijuana would exacerbate those kind of numbers. Well, let me answer your question one at a time. First of all, I think that it is, a, it is an inaccurate comparison to compare smoking cigarettes um, for, that have no medicinal benefit to smoking marijuana or consuming marijuana, which has been proven by the medical evidence, believe it or not, to have a broad variety and huge implications in the treatment of stroke, diabetes, anorexia. All these things are very well established, and I don't, it's not my place to convince you of that just to uh, give you a my overview of the literature and the, and the advocacy groups that, that do advocate for smoking marijuana. It is not my intention to be flip at all, and I apologize if I appear to it, be It came across that way very much, sir. But, well, from my perspective, it is these are all things that when we talk about studies, these are all things that in the medical community are, are not an issue. People, I, there are always contradictory studies in any, in any topic in medicine. The oppositions who are naturally opposed will obviously look for evidence to substantiate their opposition, and those who um, are neutral will sort of weigh the pros and the cons, and those who are positive will look for those studies that, um, that support their, their advocacy for medical marijuana. All I can tell you on my behalf is that out of all the physicians that I deal with internationally, I also work in Kentucky and um, have treated thousands of patients both as a chief resident, a, a, a clinical instructor at the University of Kentucky. So, uh, Your I, point I, being? Well, my point being is that you're inaccurate. I think that the studies that you reference are a part of a larger mosaic of studies and a constellation of studies, and unfortunately... Well, we can debate my accuracy, perhaps, but you did not bring any citable material. We've heard your opinion, and we've heard your, LRC, we've heard your take, testimony of citable... It would take three hours, citable, sir, for me to go through a... Uh, a doctor, you're interrupting me now. Sorry, and you've, uh, you've actually presented evidence without evidence. You've given us your opinion and your interpretation that's what of various I was things. To do. Exactly right. And that's what it is. Mm -hmm. But if I go home and I talk to doctors in my county here in Kentucky who practice mm -hmm. medicine, I will tell you overwhelmingly they would not agree with what you claim this morning as being a predominance of doctors. I would ask you one other question, very simply. Mm -hmm. Is there any kind of random drug testing for doctors in your kind of capacity who practice medicine here in Kentucky? Sure, and we, uh, both on a, on a medical staff level that we, are, uh, that we submit ourselves to, and How monitoring frequently? levels. Mm -hmm. How frequently? Um, based upon the indications or lack of indications. Well, based on your testimony this morning, I hope it accelerates in terms of random testing. We've heard about random testing to go into people's homes this morning, but let me tell you as a commercial pilot, mm -hmm. I am random tested for drugs, mm -hmm. and I know that there's someone else supposedly that's going to testify to this effect. Does anybody in here have any desire to get on a commercial airliner flown by a pilot who has recreationally or medically used marijuana within the last 24 hours? I cannot imagine, and that is why those people are eliminated 
from the pilot pool very quickly. Mm -hmm. I hope that any doctor who testifies that he uses marijuana recreationally I did not testify will, that, so that was a college No, sir, that's what you ago. commented no, on. No, I did not. He I would like to I know that, that from any doctor I'm going to go see, that's, see this because, is why most doctors are afraid sir, to come I'm and still testify. Speaking. And, and, I, I will, and I would like, refuse, Representative refuse, Moore, I would like to know that of any doctor I go to because I will not.